Here's the Yonko Z88 tutorial. We'll begin by looking at the gunner positions. First is the Bombardier. It has a single machine gun, which we can pick up using the letter T. We can look over the iron sights with Shift T. We move the mouse around to aim the weapon. Changing positions, we press Control C. Here we have the wireless operator position, which has two machine guns with the same controls as before but we can change the gun position by pressing shift C looking down to the belly gunner position press control C we change again we have the same controls pressing T to pick up the weapon and use the mouse to move around pressing control C we'll go back to the cockpit Beating at the lower left, we have the supercharger, pulling it back at stage 1 and having it forward is automatic. Next is the outlet cow shutter control, and we look outside, we can see them there. Here's the propeller feathering, if we pull them aft, the propellers will feather, if we have it in forward, they're going to be normal. We also have propeller RPM, forward is high RPM, aft is low RPM. Then there we have the throttle, aft is low power, forward is high power. Elevator trim, we have nose up trim, and then nose down trim. We have the aileron trim for left and right. And rudder trim for left and right. Here we have the flap position and landing gear indicators. The air brake, the flap handle, up is retracted and is red, middle is the takeoff position in yellow, and the bottom is landing in green. And we have our landing gear. Here's the landing lights, the navigation lights on the wingtips, and the cockpit light. Here we have the homing indicator for navigation, contact altimeter for dive bombing, airspeed indicator, kilometers per hour, vertical speed in meters per second, the altimeter, fuel flow in liters per hour, course deviation indicator, turn and bank indicator. There's the artificial horizon, the directional gyro with slip indicator, Repeater compass and autopilot light, magnetic compass, manifold pressures for left and right engines, and the tachometers for the left and right engines. Hidden behind the gun, we have the fuel and oil pressure gauges, and we have the left and right coolant temperature gauges. Here we have oxygen pressure, fuel gauges left and right, and the lighting brightness knob, as well as Bombay door handle crank. Now to start the Junkers 88, everything is automated, so all we need to do is press E to start the engine.
now that the right engine has started. We have a few more seconds until we regain full control of the airplane. Now we can look down, we can set our RPM all the way forward and get ready to taxi. The Junkers 88 doesn't have a lockable tailwheel, so as we add some power, we'll begin rolling. We'll add back pressure, and then we can use differential power to go left and right, as well as using some brakes. Next, we'll look at the takeoff procedure for the Junkers 88. The takeoff in the Junkers 88. I'm going to set flaps to take off, RPM to maximum, outlet shutter is fully open, then we're going to set the throttle to the maximum and rotate at 180 km per hour. Then we'll raise the gear and the flaps, and we'll set our cruise power and climb. So we line up on the centre of the runway, and we start setting the flaps to take off position. The light will change from red to yellow, our RPM is maximum, our outlet shutters are open. So now that the light's yellow, we're ready to go. So we start gradually increasing the power, and we'll start rolling. As the 88 starts rolling down the runway, it might have a tendency to go left and right, so don't increase both throttles immediately at the same level. Use some differential power to maintain saddle line. We push forward on the yoke to bring the tail up. We'll accelerate to 180 km per hour and then we rotate. Get a positive rate of climb, we'll attract the landing gear. And then we'll continue our climb and accelerate to over 200 km per hour. Get some altitude underneath us. And then we'll look to retract the flaps. So now that we're starting to climb and accelerate, we'll set our cruise climb setting of 1.25 ATA and 2400 RPM. And then we'll continue accelerating to 250 km per hour for the cruise climb. Configuring the Yunkers 88 takes a while for the landing, so I like to enter the downward at 45 degrees. We start off by having our airspeed below 260 km per hour, opening our shutters and setting the flaps to the takeoff position. We should have our airspeed at 220 and then we can extend the landing gear. So I line up on the 45 degrees for downwind, set my flaps to the takeoff position. So we'll create more drag and the airplane will change its pitch so we need to adjust the trim as necessary for level flight. We'll be slowing down to 220, extend the landing gear. Then we turn to enter the downwind. And we should be stable at 220 km per hour on the downwind. Visibility at the left side trying to find the runway is rather difficult. So you might need to sit up in the seat in order to look over the wind to see the runway and know when to turn the base to final. So looking back towards the runway. We could also dip the wing a little bit, try and see the runway. Then when we're ready, we'll turn our circular base to final. Now we should start descending a little bit, no more than 5 meters a second. Once we're fully established on final, we should be about 1 to 1.5 nautical miles with a final approach speed of 210 km per hour. 
Then we set the flaps to landing position and the propeller RPM to fully forward. So we're gradually bringing you around. Now that we're established in the final, set the flaps to the landing position. It's going to also bring along a abrupt pitch change, so you need to add some forward pressure to keep the plane descending towards the runway. And my aiming point is around the beginning of the runway, so I'm adjusting my pitch and my power to maintain 210 km per hour, continuing to fly at that point. Now as I reach the round out, bring the power back to about one third, bring to the three point position, then cut the power and we touch down. And you can use brakes if you like to, or you can let it roll towards the end of the runway while maintaining full back pressure, and you need to retract the flaps as well. That completes the familiarization video for the Junkers 88. So if you liked it, please comment and subscribe to the channel.